So the first thing we need to do is we need to find out, you know, what are the coefficients a, b, and c. And because we have three unknowns, that means we need three equations to solve for those three variables. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the x coordinate, we're going to put it in for the x, and we're going to take the y coordinate, we're going to put it in for the y, and we're going to write three equations. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got three, okay, is the y, equals a times one squared plus b times one plus c. Okay, that's our first equation. Now if we go to the next point, you can see 9 is y, so I'm putting that in for y, equals a times 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. And if we take the third point, 1 is y, 2 is x, so we're putting that in place of x, plus c. So those are our three equations and we can solve the system. But I'm going to go ahead and simplify this down a little bit further. So we've got, let's see, this is 1 squared is 1, so that's going to give us a plus b plus c equals 3. The second equation I'm going to write as 4 squared is 16 times a plus 4 times b plus c equals 9. And then over here we've got uh, 2 squared is 4, so that gives us 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to 1. So this is the system right here that we're going to solve. And what you want to do is you want to pick one of the variables to eliminate, either the a's, the b's, or the c's. I think here it's going to be easiest to eliminate the c's, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these first two equations and I'm going to uh, subtract them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the bottom one minus the top one. So 16a minus 1a is 15a, 4b minus 1b is 3b, c minus c that's 0, and 9 minus 3 is 6. Now another way that students oftentimes like to do this is they like to multiply one of the equations by, let's say, a negative one, and then add instead of subtracting, and you can do that as well. Now we've used the first and second equations we need to use the third equation as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this third equation and I'm going to subtract the second equation from this third equation. So I'm going to do 4a minus, uh, actually you know what, I'm going to do it the other way. Let me take the second equation minus the third equation. So 16a minus 4a is 12a, 4b minus 2b is 2b, c minus c is 0, and 9 minus 1 is 8. So now you can see we've used all uh, three equations. We eliminated the c's, and now we're down to two variables, two equations. So all we have to do is solve this system, either eliminate the a's or the b's. Uh, let's go ahead and try to eliminate the b's, since these coefficients are a little bit smaller. So it looks like a 3b and 2b, we could get a uh, lowest common multiple of 6. They both go into 6. Let me multiply this top equation by 2. That'll give us 6b. And the bottom equation will multiply by negative 3. That'll give us negative 6b. This way when we add them together, the b's will cancel out. So let's go ahead and do that. 2 times 15a is 30a plus 6b equals 12. Here we get negative 36a minus 6b equals negative 24. When you add these together, the b's cancel. We get negative 6a equals negative 12. Divide by negative 6, and you can see that a is equal to 2. So now what we need to do is work our way backwards. So if a is 2, let's go put a into this equation or this equation to solve for b. I'll put it into the top one. So that's going to give us, let's see, we've got 15 times 2 plus 3 times b equals 6. So we've got 30 plus 3b equals 6. Subtract 30 from both sides, that gives us negative 24. Divide both sides by 3, and we get b equals negative 8. Now we know what a and b are. We just need to solve for c. I'm going to go ahead and put those into one of the equations that we started with originally with three variables. I'm going to put it into this top equation. a is 2, b is negative 8, c we don't know. And you can see this is negative 6 plus c equals 3. Add 6 to both sides, we get c equals 9. Now all we have to do is put it back into our equation here for a, b, and c, and we've got it. So this is going to be y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 9 and that's the equation of our parabola. Great job. If you're new to the channel, hit the circle subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel. This channel is all about making learning math a lot less stressful for you so you can improve your grades, pass your class, and go on to pursue your dreams. I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.